In this lesson you will learn BGP hijacking. First of all, what is BGP? BGP stands for Border Gateway Protocol, and it is the routing protocol of the Internet. In other words, it provides directions so that traffic travels from one IP address to another as efficiently as possible. BGP is an older Internet protocol that was first used in the 1980s and was designed to enable Internet backbone routers to advertise the default routes for the major networks served by the backbone providers. An IP address is the actual web address of a given website. When a user types in a website name and the browser finds and loads it, requests and responses go back and forth between the user's IP address and the IP address of the website. DNS, Domain Name System, servers provide the IP address, but BGP provides the most efficient way to reach that IP address. Roughly speaking, if DNS is the Internet's address book, then BGP is the Internet's roadmap. BGP always favors the shortest and most direct path from autonomous system to autonomous system. In order to reach IP addresses via the fewest possible hops across networks, each BGP router stores a routing table with the best routes between autonomous systems. The autonomous system is a large network or group of networks managed by a single organization. An autonomous system may have many subnetworks, but all share the same routing policy. Why BGP is important? BGP makes the large-scale growth of the Internet possible. The Internet is made up of multiple large networks that are interconnected. Because it is decentralized, there is no governing body or traffic cop laying down the best routes for data packets to travel to their intended IP address destinations. BGP fulfills this role. If not for BGP, web traffic could take huge amounts of time to reach its destination due to inefficient routing or would never reach the intended destination at all. What is BGP hijacking? BGP hijacking occurs when an autonomous system announces IP address spaces belonging to another autonomous system. This announcement attracts traffic meant for that IP address range. Other common names for BGP hijacking are Prefix hijacking Root hijacking IP hijacking BGP hijacking occurs when someone or something corrupts the routing tables maintained by autonomous system routers. This corruption enables a backbone router to improperly advertise as having the most efficient route to a network. Since BGP always favors the shortest path to the desired IP address, anyone looking to cause a BGP hijack must create a route announcement that either provides a more specific route with a smaller range of IP addresses than other ASEs, offers a shorter route to certain blocks of IP addresses. Both strategies require the hacker to either control an autonomous system router or compromise one of approximate 80,000 currently operational autonomous system. This process is easier said than done, which is why most malicious BGP hijacks are the work of highly skilled and well-funded hacker groups. BGP hijacking enables attackers to reroute internet traffic to the wrong destination or route. Rerouting traffic enables a threat actor to intercept, spy on, or tamper with transmitted data. Intentional BGP hijacks are less common but more dangerous since there is a clear malicious goal behind the attack. Here are the most common ways threat actors cause hijacks. IP prefix spoofing. Threat actors announce IP prefixes that do not belong to them, creating false BGP announcements that divert traffic to or through their own network. Autonomous system number spoofing. Attackers announce routes with autonomous system numbers they don't legitimately control. Threat actors impersonate another autonomous system and direct traffic through their own network instead of the legitimate destination. Autonomous System Hacking Direct hacking of an autonomous system enables a cyber criminal to compromise the internal infrastructure of an autonomous system and gain control over one or more BGP routers. Hackers then manipulate announcements to redirect traffic. Session Hijacking 
attackers intercept in-transit traffic and modify routing updates. That way, hackers gain access to BGP sessions and influence routes. IP address spoofing. Attackers spoof the source IP address of BGP messages. Spoofing makes the message appear as if the announcement is coming from a trusted source, which hackers use to inject false routes into the BGP system. How hackers use BGP attacks. A man in the middle attack is malicious redirection of the BGP protocol. The impact of a well-organized assault can be devastating to the business economy anywhere downline. A man-in-the-middle attack can be used alone or be part of a much larger coordinated scheme. There are six man-in-the-middle attacks with the malicious use of the BGP protocol. Number 1. HTTPS spoofing creates fake websites, then uses the BGP protocol to route traffic to the site, usually loaded with malware. Number 2. SSL stripping is when the predator reduces the security of a legitimate website and then reroutes fake traffic. Number 3. IP spoofing happens when cybercriminals spoof transmission control protocol or packets in the header of a legitimate website to redirect traffic to a chosen location. These attacks capitalize on the trust between two devices. Number 4. ARP spoofing allows predators to intercept specific communication packets between network nodes. Number 5. DNS spoofing happens when the criminal replaces a legitimate IP address in a routing table with a fake address and reroutes traffic to a malicious website. Number 6. BGP misdirection is an attack that redirects internet traffic to a malicious route by spoofing IP prefixes. What happens when BGP is hijacked? Traffic redirection. Attackers use a BGP hijack to direct traffic to other destinations, for example, a phishing or malware-infected website. Data interception. A hijack enables threat actors to spy on in-transit data while info passes through a malicious network. Attackers often also capture in-transit data, causing data leakage or breaches. Data manipulation. Hijackers can tamper with transmitted data. Threat actors may modify or inject malicious content into the traffic, leading to data corruption or the spread of malware. Resource abuse. Sometimes, attackers use illegitimately announced IP prefixes to abuse network resources belonging to target organizations. Service unavailability. BGP hijacking often causes unavailability of services for impacted IP addresses. Distributed denial of service. Some cyber criminals use BGP hijacking to run or amplify distributed denial of service attacks. The hijacker redirects traffic through their infrastructure and overloads the target network or service with a massive volume of bogus traffic. How can you protect your organization against BGP hijacking? Filtering. Making sure your and your customers' routing announcements are correct. Stops false routing announcements from distorting the internet roadmap. Anti-spoofing. Enabling source address validation prevents spoofed packets from entering or leaving your network. Coordination. Maintaining globally accessible contact information in common places such as the PeeringDB, RIR Hoys database, and your own website. Global validation. Publishing your data including your routing policy and prefixes you intend to advertise, so your routing information can be validated by third parties.